This is another Ryan's Remarks, bringing you frequently asked topics in sales and marketing. Um, here's the thing today. I'm going to give you a trick in emails. Emails is where we spend a lot of our time. Two things you can do better in emails would be one, working on your subject line. How many people have seen something from a holiday party late in 2018 where the email for May or June is still a different complete topic, but we're still using that same email subject line. Change it, change it to new topic, uh, moving things in the office, so it's not talking about holiday decorations. Secondly, when you're prospecting externally, put something that is very personal. So for example, if it says, follow up from our phone conversation from Ryan Sowers. That's what I would put in the subject line. I wouldn't just say follow up or follow up from phone call. Too generic, gonna get overlooked. So be specific. A third, I used to like to have fluffy, you know, hope you have a great week. Talk to you soon, thanks Ryan email. I like that style, but now I know most people don't read the end of an email, so I say something like, does this work for you? Question mark, thanks, T-H-X-R or Ryan or whatever, but making sure they see the question and they have time to answer it. So look at a few of these tricks, and I don't really say tricks in a bad way, but ways to get your emails read. They need to be consistent, concise. They need to be clear. Um, they, you don't want people, when you write an email, whether it's internal or external, and you write four questions that have to be answered and then to answer you yes, because you're wondering yes to which one. So think what you're doing. Try to break things up. And lastly, before I forget, there's threads now, especially you see it with Gmail. Make sure you're replying to the right one. We've always had reply to all. It's even worse now with the phone. If you hit the bottom right, you can actually reply to an email from three weeks ago. Make sure you go down, test it, hit the bottom right icon, look at what you're replying to, and then make sure it's going to that person and look at the subject, especially when you're doing it mobily from your phone. So hopefully you'll find this in your sales endeavors to be helpful, to save you time, and for you to be more productive in uh, emails, and we all spend a lot of time in emails. This is another Ryan's Remarks, helping you with frequently asked sales and marketing topics. Until next time, folks, have a great week, everybody.